Grain matching is defined as the placement of doors and or drawers on an optimized panel such that they are appropriately adjacent to each other as is shown here. This placement will allow the grain of the panel to be continuous on the doors and drawers assigned to a particular section of a cabinet. At the grain matching setup menu, we have three options per construction method as to if and how we want grain matching to occur during panel optimization and CNC processing. Separate grain matching is useful if we want to grain match all of our doors using, for example, vertical grain, while grain matching all of our drawers using, for example, horizontal grain. Notice that once we have chosen to match the grain direction of doors, we are given an additional choice to select either horizontal or vertical grain. Whatever we choose here will override any grain direction that is assigned to a door at the cabinet level or the door style library level. We can separately choose to grain match drawer fronts by themselves when we select yes here. Notice that once we have chosen to match the grain direction of drawer fronts, we are given an additional choice to select either horizontal, horizontal or vertical grain. Whatever we choose here will also override any grain direction that is assigned to a drawer front at the cabinet level or the door style library level. Notice that if we select any of these two options, that the combined grain matching option is not available. Likewise, had we selected to combine our doors and drawers in our grain matching, then the separate grain matching options would not be available. If we choose to combine doors and drawer fronts in our grain matching, then this will place the drawers in their proper position relative to the doors below them, making the grain continuous for all doors and drawers in a given section of a cabinet. Here again, we can select either horizontal or vertical grain. Whatever we choose here will override any grain direction that is assigned to either door panels or drawer fronts at the cabinet level or the door style uh, library level. To see how this works, let us first turn off grain direction altogether and optimize a small job. In this job, we have four cabinets. These cabinets will give us a pretty good idea of how grain matching works with different configurations of doors and drawers. The first cabinet is a drawer bank with three different sized drawer fronts. The second cabinet is a cabinet with a single door and a single drawer. The third cabinet is a cabinet with two doors and two drawers. And the fourth cabinet is a cabinet with two doors and three drawers above it. Keeping our four different cabinets in mind, when, processing, when we process a job for optimization and or CNC, we will see that all door panels and drawer fronts have been optimized according to how their grain direction is defined at the cabinet editor or at the door style library. For purposes of this tutorial, by the way, I have selected only door panels and drawer fronts to be optimized, which is why we don't see any other parts on these nested sheets. When we continue on to CNC machining, producing the CNC code, we will see all the machining of the parts as well as the holes for the pulls as they are defined in the CNC smart rules. Now let's return to the grain matching setup screen. We will select the option to match the grain direction of doors and drawer fronts together with vertical grain. Now when we re-optimize, we will see a different optimization occur. Each of these four blocks consists of all the doors and drawers assigned to a given section of a cabinet. This particular panel is grained along its, uh, its long side. So because we chose to have our doors and drawers be of vertical grain, the doors and drawers are laying horizontally on this panel following the grain of the panel. If this panel was redefined in inventory as being grained along its short side, as is shown here, then all of these vertically grained parts will be rotated 90 degrees in order to follow the grain of the panel. All CNC machining would also be rotated 90 degrees. Notice that these optimized blocks that consist of combined doors and drawers do not have standard labels. Instead, their labels describe how many doors and how many drawers lay within the block itself, along with their dimensions. When we continue on to generate the CNC code, we will find the optimized blocks are broken down into their component parts. Here, for example, we have the doors and the drawers assigned to one of the cabinets we saw earlier, while here we have the drawers belonging to the drawer bank that we looked at earlier. All the pull holes are machined as per setup, such that the doors and drawers are aligned with continuous vertical grain. 
As a final example, back at the grain machining setup screen, if we choose to separately match the grain of our doors with vertical grain and that of our drawer fronts with horizontal grain, then when we nest our sheets we will see that only the doors are matched together with vertical grain and the drawers are grain matched together with horizontal grain. Continuing on to CNC processing, we will see the doors all have vertical grain while the drawers all have horizontal grain. We would like to take this opportunity to thank TechnoCNC routers for the use of their simulator shown here. It has greatly helped Cabinet Pro LLC in both instruction and development.